my kittens. What's the matter? Mom won't play with us, Grandpa. Yeah. She says she's too busy taking care of Dad. All he's got is the dumb old flu. Yeah, that stinks. She didn't want to play with me either. How about we played together? Can we make up a story about a kangaroo? Yeah, whose parents didn't pay any attention to him. And we can call it Pay Attention to Me. <laughs> <laughs> In a land far, far away, there once lived a kangaroo family. And they loved playing together. One day, baby Joey was born. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> Soon, Roo felt like his parents never had any time for him. Mom, want to play bungo? Sorry, Roo. I need to feed your baby sister right now. Again. Dad, will you play bungo with me? I can't right now. I need to change your sister's diaper. Again? How about when you're done? Sorry, but Mom and I need to go out shopping after this. But we'll find you a sitter. Maybe the sitter can play bungo with you. Hey, we can be the sitters and play bungo with Rue. And what about taking care of the baby? Piece of cake, Grandpa. How hard could it be? Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's, let's go! go! Great. We won't be long. Milk is in the kitchen, and diapers are next to the crib. Take your time. We got this. Okay, Rue. It's time for you and us to play. Finally. I get some attention. Let's play Bungo. Sure. You're first. Pick one of the pieces. <laughs> Ugh. Don't worry, we got this. Why is she crying? She's probably hungry. Oh, I'll get her milk. What is that? Milk. She can't drink cold milk from a glass. She needs a warm bottle. Here you go, baby. See, this is easy. Let's get back to our game. Now what? He, you! What's that smell? She pooped. That's what babies do. A lot. You need to change her diaper. You take it off. No, you take it off. No, you! Ugh, get out of the way. It's okay, baby. Big Brother is changing your diaper. Yeah. There you go. All clean. Why don't you take a nap? That was easy. Shh. Let's get back to our game. It's my turn. Bungo! Sorry. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay baby. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, she won't stop. She likes when my parents carry her and rock her like this. of babies is a lot of work. No kidding. Hi, we're home. Shh. What's that? It's a present for you. Wow, it's the bowling set I wanted. We know that baby has been getting so much of our attention lately. We think it's time that you get some. Let's play. I know you want to play, Mom, but right now I need to get my sister to sleep. Good night, sweetie. <laughs> what a great story, Grandpa. Hey, Kit, let's see if Mom can use some help taking care of Dad. Good idea. It's a lot of work. But then who's going to pay attention to me? You want us to bring you some more milk? That sounds nice. But we don't change diapers. <laughs> hey! That cowboy hat will look great on me. You can't just grab things. That's rude. Be polite. May I please grab that cowboy hat? May I please say no? Uh. 
<laughs> Kit! <laughs> Kate, stop fighting. I have another hat. How about we make up a story, partners? Yeah, about a cowboy. And a cowgirl, too. Who are in a rodeo. Where everything is made of candy. <laughs> right. The Lollipop Rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, the Lollipop Rodeo came to town. It's the Lollipop Rodeo. Giddy up. Giddy up. And hotty ho. Shake your hooves and your nose and do -si go at the Lollipop Rodeo. Howdy, everybody. Howdy. I'm Shel Shel Stein, and welcome to the Lollipop Rodeo. We're going to have fun, sweet time. Yeah, the sweetest. And how about the Peanut Gallery Band? <laughs> Thank you. You're too sweet. Yodelay, yodelo, and away we go. It's the Lollipop Rodeo. <laughs> now. Are you ready for the rootin' tootin'est cowpokes this side of the Chocolate River? Yeah, we're ready! <gasps> that can be us! Yeah, I'll be cowboy y'all! Y'all? And I'll be cowgirl yeehaw! Yeehaw! Go, go kitty kitties, kitty, let's go! Hi, y'all! Hi, y'all! Cowboy Y'all and Cowgirl Yeehaw showed the crowd their licorice lasso tricks. Woo! Barrel of hot chocolate racing. Woo and candy cane pitching. Right. Well, cowpokes, we got a special challenge for you today. Meet Demon. <gasps> oh. He's the meanest bucking bronco this side of any side. He's scary. Yeah, he doesn't look so sweet. Whoever can ride Demon the longest is the winner. All right. Well, that'll be me. I'm the best. Oh, please. No one beats me. Well, you're both in for a rough ride. Looky here, horsey. I'm the boss, not you. Now, take me on a ride that will break records, or I'll break you. Are you ready, y'all? Ready! One! Hey! Two! Whoa! Three! Whoa! Oh! Oh, oh. Hurt. oh well, right in the vanilla pudding pit. Better luck next time. You just wait, demon. Well, how about you, cowgirl? Are you ready to ride the meanest bucking bronco around? Are you? Ready for Demon. His name's Butterscotch. Hey there, Butterscotch. You're the very sweetest, most nicest, beautiful rodeo horse in the world. Yes, you are. Would you please let me ride on your back? I promise to be gentle. It's time, yeehaw. All right, here we go, Butterscotch. Good boy. One, Ooh. two, Ooh. three, I've four, never seen anything like that. Five, five, good boy. Six. Oh, we're doing great. Seven. Eight. This is fun. Nine. Whoa. Ten. <laughs> we have a winner. Yeah. And a new record. Yeah. And I thank you kindly on behalf of nice cow pokes everywhere. Yeah. So you see, when you ask for things rudely, don't be surprised if you get a rude answer back. But if you ask nicely, you might just get a nice reaction instead. May I please try your hat on? Why, certainly, partner. Kit, Kate, why aren't you playing with your friends? The sun went down. It's too dark for hide and seek. Yeah. It turned into hide and seek and crash into each other. We'll finish tomorrow. But what are we going to do for fun till then? Why don't we make up a story? About a bat. Who doesn't like the night. And we can call it Bernie the Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time lived Bernie the Bat. The other bats were nocturnal, but not Bernie. What's nocturnal mean? Active at night. Hey, Bernie. I'm gonna go hunt Nipsey flies. Wanna come? Nah, not my thing. Well, 
How about acrobatics? No, thanks. All right, then go with me to the group swoop. Pass. Well, well what, what do, do you like, like to do? do? Bernie the bat liked to collect puddle water. And he liked to make pickles, too. But most of all, he loved to dance the cha-cha-cha. Oh, yes, it's true that most bats like the night. But I'm a bat that digs the light. I don't mind the bright rays of the sun that shine on me while I have fun. Cha-cha-cha! What a weirdo. Always alone. It's hard to believe he's a bat. Poor Bernie. He's lonely. And afraid of the dark. Like me. I mean, sometimes. We should help Bernie not be scared. So he can stay up late. And have lots of bat friends. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate are here. To help Bernie the bat conquer fear. Here's a nightlight. It'll help you feel safer. Oh, uh, thanks, but really, I... Now. Hold hands with us. I will fight my fear of the night. I will fight my fear of the night. Imagine the moon is your friend. Now, breathe deeply. Are you feeling peaceful and calm yet? Hey, our friend the moon just disappeared behind the cloud. It is kind of creepy in the woods at night. Let's get out of here. Calm down. Calm down. Calm, Calm down. down. Calm, Calm down. down. There's nothing to be scared of. I'm not afraid. You're not? No, I just prefer the day. Now let me get some sleep so I can collect puddle water tomorrow. It's the height of the season. Walk that way. <sighs> You'll be out of here in no time. Bernie's still alone. Aw, he's never going to make any bat friends. Ah, good morning. Shh. Go back to sleep, will ya? I thought owls were nocturnal. What's that mean? Active at night. Well, Olan sure isn't. She's one odd owl. Doesn't care about head rotation or feather fluffing competitions. They're boring. She likes to collect puddle water. It's fun. And make pickles. Gross. They're delicious. And dance the cha-cha-cha? How did you know? There's, There's someone, someone you have, have to meet. meet. Bernie, this is Olan. Pleasure, Pleasure to, to meet, meet you. you. There's no reason bats have to only stick with bats and owls with owls. You two have so many things in common. And that's how Bernie the bat and Olan the owl became the bestest friends. Oh, yes, it's true, you're a bird and I'm a bat. But being friends is where it's at. Anytime we play, it's ha, ha, ha. And every time we dance, it's cha, cha, cha. So you see, you don't have to change who you are to fit in. Right, because there are others somewhere who like what you do. All you have to do is go out there and find them. So that is how our story ends, with a bat and an owl as daytime friends. Mom? What are you two doing out of bed? Kate thinks there's a monster in our room. There really is. I think there's an ogre hunched in the corner. Hmm, an ogre, huh? A big and scary one. This wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that you were out trick-or-treating tonight, would it? Well, it is Halloween. All right. What do you say we make up a story together? Yeah, about a witch. Who lives in a big, scary house. And what should we call it? I know! Witch Way! <laughs> <laughs> Once, on a Halloween night just like this, there stood a big dark house at the end of a long, spooky street. Not too spooky, okay? Okay. And in the house lived an old woman whom everyone called a witch. But nobody ever saw her. I dare you to go up there and knock on that door. In fact, I double dog dare you. Sure. I'm not scared. Too scared. Uh, 
Ah! A dragon! I take it back. I am too scared. You go. Fine. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, there is something to be afraid of. Is no one brave enough to knock on that dark, dreadful door? We're brave, Mommy. Right. We're not scared. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Don't go up there, man. It's really, really scary. I mean, really. A cow poke's got to do what a cow poke's got to do. Oh, Mommy! Ah! Cowpokes tackle cows and snakes and even tornadoes, but we draw the line with mummies. Well, I won't let my imagination run away with me. Just watch. See, I forgot to turn my porch light on. Oh, look at you. What a pretty mermaid. And a hungry one at that, I'll bet. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Are those your friends? Invite them up. Come on. She's really nice. Yay! What about all those scary things from before? Like that dragon in the pond. You mean this? It's a blow-up toy! And how about that ghost over the lawn? Oh! It's just a scarecrow! Oh! And what about the mummy? And your window? A cactus? I should have known! So you see, a little light can help you see what's really there. And not what you think might be there. Well, I really think there might be a monster in our room. There is! Right there! See? It's just your Halloween costumes. There's nothing to be afraid of. Not in the story and not in our room. All right, my little kittens. Climb into your beds. Mm -hmm. Sweet dreams. Afraid, but could you leave the light on? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, you two? We can't get the snowman's head all the way up there. We're too short. So what are you going to do? We'll just find something else to do. Good idea. There's no way we can finish this. Well, how about we make up a story? Okay. About a mouse. Who wanted to build a house? And the name of the story can be... The Mouster Builder. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a little mouse who dreamed of building himself a house. <laughs> Made of cheese. But when the mouse tried to build his dream house, he didn't have much luck at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! And that was a good day. Oh, little little! And just when the mouse thought it couldn't get any worse. Oh! <laughs> Me. I hope he's all right. He really should have a doctor look at him. Hey, we can be the doctor's kit. Great idea, Kate. Let's go help that poor guy. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! To the patient. Don't worry, we'll help you. 
We'll get you to the hospital, and you'll feel better in no time. But I need to finish my house. See? <laughs> Dr. Kate, we must get him on a stretcher. Now! What about the bag? I got it. Oh. Ooh. What about the bag? I got it. Oh. Oh. Maybe you need a little help with that bag. Thanks. We couldn't have done this without your help. Wait a second. That's it. I just need a little help too. Would you help me build my house? Sure. Thanks for asking. I'm a feeling better already. Ah. <laughs> can you hold it right here so I can hammer it in? Sure. sure. It sure is easier when you ask for help. That's it, kid. Just hold it steady. You got it. And Kate, can you spread that cheese right here to hold these together? Come in right up. Okay, kittens. Great. I'm ready for another shingle. Can you pass one up? Sure. Happy to help. Thanks to you two. I couldn't have done it without you. That was a great story, Dad. So all the mouse had to do was ask for help? Yep, it was as simple as that. Well, then, could you help us with our snowman, Dad? My pleasure. Ready for the eyes and nose. I got it. Can you lift me up? Of course. OK, Kate. Your turn with the mouth and scarf. Ready. Looking good, Dad. Yeah, thanks for your help and your story. Aw, shucks. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs>